channeler welcome to my channel if you're new here hi my name is Rosie and thank you so much for taking a moment out of your busy day to spend a few moments with me so in today's video I thought that I would create a shirt that has my family's name on it so my two daughters Sammy and Kelsey and my grandson Evan and I thought that this design would be absolutely adorable now I love bright shirts so this was was absolutely speaking to me so if you're ready let's get started okay so I've gone ahead and I've pulled the shirt that I want to use and let me just kind of fold it so I can get it somewhat in the frame look at this color I love bright colors so this one here I absolutely love so what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna add my different um, layers of everyday iron on onto this create my Valentine's Day shirt okay so I've got my shirt here I'm gonna give it a quick little press just to remove some of the moisture from my shirt I have all of my everyday iron on layers all cut out and weeded um, just to make the video go a little bit more quicker but look at this color is this not an awesome color I love bright colors. I just think it makes things happy. I don't know. <laughs> That's just me, I guess. <laughs> okay, so let's go ahead. I'm going to go ahead and bring in my layers, and then let's go ahead and start pressing each one. Okay, so first of all, let's see. I'm just going to move this a little bit. Hey guys, I'm interrupting this video super quick to let you know about a new goal that I've recently established for my channel. Now, I'm looking at attaining an additional 300 subscribers in the next few months. What? I know, I know. It's a lofty goal, right? But I really think that we can do it together. So how can you help? You can help by doing three small things. The first thing is hitting that like button on this video, then clicking on that subscribe button, and don't forget to click on the notification bell so that you're notified when I release new videos. And if you're already subscribed to my channel, all you need to do is hit the like button on this video. It's even easier. That's it. Pretty simple, right? Okay, simple things but mean so much. I would really appreciate your support. So. Are you ready to be on this gold journey with me? All right, let's do it. Okay, back to the video. Okay, let's see here. And I'm going to try and get this mat right in the middle of my shirt. So let's go ahead and bring in the design. Now, I have multiple colors. I have, uh, let's see, what do I have? I have white, tan, red and black so what i'm gonna do is i'm gonna go ahead and i'm gonna layer on my largest piece first um so in this instance i'm gonna do red so first things first let's go ahead and just remove the moisture from my shirt just a quick couple of seconds okay and then let's see here okay let's see does that look good okay it's always just trying to make sure that it looks straight right because the last thing you want is for let's see for things to be off kilter so let's see, I'm just going to look here. So we've got about five and a half, five and a half. Okay, we're good. We are good. Okay, so now I'm going to go ahead and press it. I've got it preheated at 315. We're going to press for 30 seconds. And I'm going to do this in multiple passes because apply firm pressure because my my design is larger so I want to make sure that I am pressing in all corners in all areas of the design if you know what I mean okay and then we're gonna go ahead and just press the back just real quickly just real quickly here 
press the back for about five seconds. That's all. Okay. Okay, now let's go ahead. We're going to let this cool off for a quick second before we go and press the next layer. We're going to let it cool. We'll remove this carrier sheet. We'll place down the next layer and we'll continue on. So let's go ahead and just let this cool off. Okay, that's cooled off enough. So let's go ahead and slowly peel this up. We just want to make sure that everything is staying down the way it should. Let's see. Oh, I need to press that some more. Okay, let's go ahead. And I can see right here this heart. Right there. And like that and let's give it a nice focused press okay so now let's just let that cool off real quickly and then we will go on to the next layer which is my black layer okay now next let's go ahead and just grab my black layer and let's see how perfectly I can get this. Okay, let's see. I think that's good, but we shall see. Um, let's see here. Is that straight? It's kind of hard to tell. Let's see, I've got a little bit of weeded vinyl here, I noticed. Let's get that off before I press it down. Okay. I think that looks good, but we shall see. You know what? It's all trial and error, right guys? No harm, no foul. Okay, we're gonna go ahead. We're gonna press it at 315 for 30 seconds. Okay, I've gone ahead and I've pressed it on the back. Now let's go ahead and just let this cool off before I go and place the next layer down. So I have two more layers. I have a tan, which is going to be for the hands. Mm -hmm. And then I have white, that's going to be for the beard. So I have those two left. Just going to let it cool off a little bit here. Okay, I took off the carrier sheet. Now I'm just going to double check to make sure that everything looks good. Sammy, Kelsey, Evan, everything looks good. Okay, on to the next layer. So the next layer, let's see, which one am I going to do? I'm referencing back Cricut Design Space to make sure that I'm looking at which one I want to do. And I'm going to go ahead and do the beard next. So for the beard, let's see. Try to get this as even as possible. You know what I'm going to do? I'm going to cut these. I think it'll be easier. We have to make our lives easier, right guys? So see, this is going to be so much easier to make it perfect. Let's see, that's going to be absolutely, let's see, absolutely perfect. Okay, oh my gosh, that looks so cute. Okay, let's go ahead and do, I think it's a great idea to separate. I mean, you can leave it all as one if you want, but me, myself, I'm thinking it's just so much easier. All right, let's see. Uh, that looks good. And then my last one. Okay, 
so let's see I'm looking for evenly spaced on all parts of the diagram so I'm looking at the feet I'm looking at the hands the beard the heart making sure that the heart looks like it's perfectly spaced okay there we go oh my goodness how adorable is that okay now we're going to go ahead and press, press, press a root. Okay, and again, just using my firm pressure. This is so cute. And I love the fact that I have the family names on there. You know what I mean? It just gives it an added little personalized touch. If you have grandkids, you could put all of the grandkids' names in there, your kids, whatever you want. Okay. Alrighty, let's go ahead and I'm going to press it on the opposite side. Okay, a nice little blast of heat. Okay, and now let's go ahead and let this cool off so we can put down the last, the last layer to the shirt. Oh my gosh, it's looking so cute. <laughs> Okay, that's good. Let's make sure that stays down good. Next one. Very nice. And perfect. Oh my goodness, guys. <laughs> okay, last little layer. Okay, now we're going to do the little hands and nose. So, I have my long strip but I'm gonna go ahead and I'm gonna cut them like I did the beard just to make it easier right for lining up so let's see that one get rid of that one like that let's see I'm gonna press that now let's just make sure one more time give it a quick look okay last little presses Okay, let's go ahead and move my mat a little bit so I can get the other side. Just lovely. Give it a little blast of heat from the back and then we are done, guys. <laughs> okay. Oh, I love making things like this you know anything that has to do with family just makes me so so happy okay okay let's go ahead i'm going to turn off my heat press because i am done and let's see here i'm going to go ahead and just refold up my measuring tape while this cools off a little bit and then we can check out our final project oh my goodness what a great little gift as well you know what i mean think about giving it to grandparents or parents or you know what i mean whoever um there's tons of ways that you can personalize this and give it to that special person and how sweet would it be with um, specific people or groups um, with them listed how cute would that be okay so let's see here just pushing this all back together I've got my little tray here beautiful still a little warm that's okay okay Oh my goodness. Okay, let's see here. That looks good. That looks good. And last one. Oh my goodness. Oh, let's see. I have a little piece of white. Nope. Okay. Okay, and there we have it. Let me go ahead and just fold it up so you can see it. Oh, oh my gosh. Let's see. Oh my goodness, what an adorable shirt. 
how cute. And I have my daughters, Sammy, Kelsey, and my grandson, Evan. This is just too, too dang cute. I absolutely love how this turned out. Well, I really hope that this gave you some sort of inspiration if you were looking at potentially doing um, a shirt with multiple layers or thinking about how you can per really personalize a shirt for the upcoming holiday. All right, guys. Well, that's all I have for you today. I really hope that you enjoyed today's video. If you did, please smash that like button and don't forget to subscribe to my channel if you haven't already. And if you have, guys, thank you so much. You're support goes an awful long way in helping my channel out. Alright guys, until the next time, stay safe, be kind, and keep it creative.